Hey guys, this is Anjanette from AJ's Personal Touch. Welcome in, welcome in my regular subscribers, welcome in anybody new. Um, this is my first attempt at Vlogmas this year. So when you see them numbered, Vlogmas number one will not be the first, it will be the fourth. We'll try to always remember to pick a date on them. Um, I will try to do some taping as I go during the day on my days that I'm out of the house. Um, but most of my days are spent here, so it may just be a sit down and I tell you what I've done all day. Um, I would like to sit and crochet with you a little bit, maybe. Um, I don't know. I wasn't going to do Vlogmas at all this year, and a little voice in my head is saying, you're missing it. I am missing it. I really enjoyed um, the 15 days I got to do last year, I had to stop because I had surgery last year. Um, so let's see how things go. Sorry, I keep saying, um, my husband says I say it way too much. Right now it is 10.27 p.m. I wanted to sit down and do another reading of Anna Karenina with you guys tonight. But my day just got out of hand. Literally, I did not get to sleep until six o'clock this morning no eight o'clock this morning because I had been so down on um, the second on Friday and I wasn't feeling good on the first so that's another reason why I wasn't here because you know if I can vlog on the first I'm going to and do all of the you know World AIDS Day stuff and you know remind everybody about that I do thank Kaylin for reminding people of World AIDS Day for me on her channel. It's just been a week. Um, I do want to talk about AKA and the fact that we had issued a challenge for World AIDS Day. Nobody sent anything in. I completely understand. We gave you a week and that really was not long enough. Um, honestly, I didn't think of the challenge until like the day before we did the video. Otherwise, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. We would have talked about World AIDS Day back the two weeks before that, and you would have had a lot longer, you know, to do the challenge. You know, plus Christmas and all that. We completely, completely understand. I think what I might, I don't know. I can't think ahead yet. I just don't know what's going on in my life in the next couple months. To a year so um, I'll know a little bit more after next week I see the doctor about having skin removal and I honestly don't know if that's something that's going to take off quickly or if it's gonna be a while considering that he does bariatric surgeries and uh, he only sees one um, patient a week about skin removal I have a feeling it's going to be a while because, you know, whoever has been in to see him before me, you know, they've got first dibs. So, and he may, I know I've lost considerable weight since the day that um, the dietitian and I discussed this and she told him how much I weighed. I honestly don't know how much I weigh right now because I haven't been able to go to the pool. And the pool is where I've been weighing myself because they have a nice, um, scale there. They actually have two. They have an old doctor scale and then they have the newer ones that you see in the doctor's offices now. So um, I've been weighing myself there when I go to the pool and I know I lost like 17 pounds since then. I don't know since then how I have done because I haven't been there for the last three weeks and I'm just reiterating what I said. Um, I am still doing low carb. I'm trying to be very careful with it. I haven't been able to eat a whole lot lately because I'm not feeling well. I just got done making a dessert that is one of my all-time favorites. And it becomes a staple around here when I can't eat well because it's low carb. It is, um, and it's more of a, some people call it a salad than a dessert dessert salad, whatever. 
it's you take sugar-free jello or pudding. I didn't know you could do it with pudding until my husband did it a couple weeks ago with pistachio pudding. I guess it's how you make the Watergate cake or not cake. My grandma used to make me a Watergate cake for my birthday every year. My birthday is coming up. I've been thinking about my grandma. So the two go to, together, but a Watergate salad. I never realized that it was made the same way that we've always made our um, low calorie, low carb dessert. Not realizing it was low carb. I just knew it was low calorie. Um, low calorie, low carbs go hand in hand pretty much. Uh, depending on fiber and other things. But, um, and I'm not a dietitian, so that's just how I look at it in my head. But I check everything before I eat it now. Anyway, normally in the summertime, we make it and it's called Strawberry Delight. And we use fresh strawberries, uh, sugar free strawberry jello, but just the powder, you not mixed up, and um, cottage cheese. And then a full container of Cool Whip, the light one. And you just mix it all up. You put it in the fridge, let it get cold, and then it's, like, really good. Well, a couple weeks ago, my husband made the Watergate salad, which is made with, um, he got the sugar-free pistachio pudding. And he put that in with um, pineapple, which, if you don't know, is one of the fruits with the highest carbs. But he figured we wouldn't be eating, you know, it's not something that we're going to eat the whole bowl at one time. So we are, between the two of us, and depending on if I'm sick or not, we may get four servings out of it. Um, it's one thing that my stomach doesn't seem to not tolerate, and it doesn't fill me up as much. Or we'll get eight. Eight is usually around the number that we'll get. So then we, you know, divide how many carbs by eight to try and figure out more on where it will be. So then it's a tolerable level. It's okay. I just have to be careful if he's done that one. And I, the last time I let him eat most of it, oh, it's, it tasted so good. I didn't know that using sugar-free pudding that you could do the same thing as you do with sugar-free jello because we usually go back and forth between orange and strawberry. And we use the sugar-free mandarin oranges from the store in the orange one with the sugar-free orange jello. Um, I used to love to do sugar-free lime and then add pineapple in that one. But now, you know, with pineapple. Um, so... I decided the other week we were in Walmart and I was looking for some things and he shops at Meyer every week and Meyer does not always carry everything we're looking for, especially when it comes to sugar-free puddings and jellos and things like that. They have the basics and that's it. They used to carry everything. I mean, after I had my diabetic, um, my surgery the first time, they had every kind of sugar-free pudding you could dream of. And they got me hooked and now they don't carry it. And I'm like, oh no. So I looked at um, Walmart and they had the sugar-free cheesecake. And that was like my all time favorite pudding because it doesn't just taste like a pudding. It tastes like a, a cheesecake. And um, I grew up on the instant like cheesecakes that you just mix it all together and then, you know, put it in a graham cracker pie crust let it set in the fridge and, you know, then you have cheesecake. So, um, to me, it tastes like that. Well, I had decided if you could do pistachio with pineapple, why can't you do cheesecake with blueberries? Oh, I love blueberries. And they've been having lately blueberries on sale. Like they just had this week, 99 cents a pint. And they haven't been that low in a while. They've been closer to $1.25 dollar uh, thirty nine around in there, but regular prices like three four dollars sometimes for a pint, and they've also been having raspberries and blackberries on sale. And let me tell you, these blackberries that we've been having are like that big. I can remember them always being small, but these are huge, and they are so sweet, and they are so good. 
and they are at the top on the lower um, carb fruits. Blueberries aren't, the blackberries and raspberries are. So, and I just noticed my husband got me some more blackberry and raspberries this week and I didn't see them on sale. So um, I will have to uh, give him some extra kisses and hugs this week for that. But um, yeah, it's nice because when I get a taste for something sweet, I can just go in and, you know, eat a couple berries right out of the container, you know, and I just love it that way. Anyway, I digress. Another squirrel moment. I'm sure there'll be plenty of those in here. We have Lua. She's been missing me. I slept in my bed last night, so I slept with charcoal, and uh, she does like that. She's been mean to him, and a little bit because I did that. I slept out here for a couple days because my bed hurt really, really bad, and I couldn't really lay in my bed. And I may have to be here tonight because I get all. Anyway, again, I digress. So, um, anyway, we tried the sugar-free cheesecake with the blueberries a couple weeks ago and loved it. Oh, I loved it so much. And so did my husband. So, and he loves blueberries too. So, um, I had bought two boxes when we were at Walmart and last week I made it again and he loved it so much. He ate like swear he ate like half the bowl of the sitting but what I think he did is he ate some here at home and then he took some to work the next day um because normally I can get three bowls and sometimes it sits in there long enough where it'll start to um get liquidy and you gotta stir it up again no <laughs> this has not been lasting that long at all and so I asked him to look and see if Meyer um had the sugar-free cheesecake and I know he got two more boxes today and one more pistachio I'm not sure if he ended up having to go to Walmart or not I'm sure he'll tell me later when he gets home but um I asked him for just one more um cottage cheese because we had one in there still from last week and one more um cool whip and he got and because we had one of those in the freezer still he ended up buying two more of each of them. I think he's like, you're not feeling well. You haven't been, I haven't been eating well at all the last couple days. So, um, I think he's really starting to pick up on that because before he, he wasn't. And, um, yeah, so I think I did it. Now I had a really great day yesterday and I thought I was getting over everything. And then today, pff, forget it. And I don't know if it's because I couldn't get to sleep last night. I forgot to take my Lyrica. So my legs were just flaring up big time this morning with, um, with my, uh, oh, I can't even, with my neuropathy. And, uh, it's funny because before they told me that I had it, I was like, yeah, I don't have that. But then it's like, hmm, well, my feet hurt in the morning. I bet you it's from that. And I'm really sad. I wore my socks that I made for um, uh, Nana's crochet ideas two months ago, three months ago. They had the challenge of the month to make a pair of socks. And I did it, but mine are bigger. Um, they're more like um, slipper socks because I didn't have enough sock weight yarn I do now and I wanted to make these again but I don't know now because with the slipper socks they're hurting my feet because they have a lot of uh, back post and front post crochet and um, it feels like I'm walking on treads sometimes and it hurts my feet it didn't hurt my feet the last time I wore them but Oh my goodness, and I, like I said, I forgot my Lyrica last night, and I woke up this morning, and I had one of the cats was laying down, um, half on, half off my feet, and, but plus just laying down by my feet anyway, it pulls the covers down tighter around my feet, and I hurt. And I can't sleep without covers, 
not on my feet. I I just don't. It, I can't sit that way. I I just don't feel like I'm in the bed. Um, in the summer, I can if I'm too hot, but in the winter time, I have a really, really hard time falling asleep without um, covers or that on top of my feet. And how I'm like hoping that I can change that because, oh my goodness, I have pulled my sheets out. I need to pull them out again because I think my husband went back and tucked them back in. Um, but I need to pull them all the way out because they're just hurting my feet really. Anyway, I do apologize again that I didn't start Vlogmas on time, but I thought I'd try it. I will do what days I can. It may not be every day, um, but I will do what I can. And like tomorrow, if I can tape some footage on the way down to Indy, because we go to Indianapolis tomorrow for my, um, oh, for my uh, pump fill. I will do that. I'm sure I probably can't tape any in the doctor's office, and I'm sure you wouldn't want to see any of that anyway. Um, yeah, I'll try to get some footage down and back. The only thing is, is with using my phone, I then need to um, edit them on my phone, and um, I think I still have the program on there that I used before, but I'm not very good at it, so... You'll have to bear with me. I'm not sure that I would be able to download them onto my computer or not. Um, I guess we'll see. I just don't have a lot of extra time. So if I end up having to do a lot of editing, I may not be able to do as much as I would like to do or to show you as much as I want. And again, it may just be me sitting down here in the evenings and telling you what happened through the day. Now, I know from watching some other people who do Vlogmas that it's really nice to be able to see, you know, taping during the day and different stuff. So if I can, I will do that. Um, is that it? What else did I do today? I got up late, really late, because I went to bed really, really late. I said my feet hurt real bad. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me so much. I printed out a couple patterns last night, but I believed I showed I showed the paw ornaments on um, a video I did yesterday, but I am not positive I showed anything else. Um, oh, that's right, because... I want to make gifts, and, and the people I want to make gifts from one of them actually watch this. So, um, yeah, so I can't show that. I took, I started another uh, cowl, like um, the ones that I did last month that I entered the um, giveaway with uh, the cozy, um, Cozy Cottage Crochet. I think that's the name of it. Hannah is the one. Um, that's her channel. Cozy Cottage Crafts. She talks about more than crochet, so that's why I can't remember if it's Cozy Cottage Crochet. I can't think. I will have to actually check. I love her pattern, and it is so fast and easy now that this is like my one, two, my fifth one that I'm making and um, this one I want to give away to um, oh my um, my physical therapist <laughs> her favorite color is green and I'm using um, green homespun yarn so it's I'm liking I've used different types of yarn for each one the first one I used Bernat Chunky the second one, I used um, even a larger yarn. Um, I won't be able to remember. It's a Hobby Lobby yarn. Um, I can't think of the name. It's totally escaped me. Let me see. 
Sorry, David. Let me see. It's right here. Oh, no, it's not. It's down there. Got to get a bag together for tomorrow. For, um, I was going to say Chicago. I went to Chicago last month for, um, Indy. Effortless, super bulky by the B. And for those of you who may have forgotten, it's this, it's called eggnog. That off-white one right there. And oh, it is just so beautiful. I love it. And then I made um, one for my daughter with a latte cake. And I know I showed that one, I believe, yesterday. Um, but for those of you who may not have seen, I will. Is it in here? No, it's not in here. But it's in the bag that I need to take things out of so that I can pack it for tomorrow. At least I think this is the bag I'm going to use. Only because I already have things stuck on it. I can move things easily. This is the bag that I normally use when I am in the car and I'm going places. And here is the one with the latte cake. I still have to tie in ends and things like that. I normally do things right away, but I finished it right before going to bed. And so I never did that. I'm thinking of taking everything either out of this bag here for tomorrow because it'll set better in the bottom of the car or using my new one that I love so much that has a snap. I am thinking taking everything out of the new one is probably what's going to happen. I need a little bit of a bigger bag than this one, although I'm trying to decide if the um, molded one is actually larger than what I can fit in there. I want to take um, stuff that I need for my daughter's blanket and make some squares. So, um, and the yarn that I'm using for that, while we're talking about it, I might as well show you, is and this one here is the big ones of Big Twist. And I've got four different colors in here. Now I will not take four colors with me tomorrow. I may just take one and the different patterns for um, the squares that I need to make in that color. Because, I mean, let's be real. I'm not going to get as much done as I would like to get. And I might only get two squares done um, if I take that and the cowl that I'm working on. I might actually, I'm thinking about making two because the dietitian that I see um, in Indy, she also likes the color green. And I am dropping stuff all over. I'll have to pick this stuff up later. There we go. I got it. Sorry, I don't mean to be so up and down and to get anybody sick or anything. I just know if I don't pick up my watch, which is charging, I have all these cords here and they are all, I don't care how many times I sit and untangle them, they get all tangled up all over again. Oh, it's at 99%. I can take it off. I don't have to worry about losing it anymore. I can actually take it off. I'm so hoping that I get a new watch band for my daughter for Christmas. If not, I will have to look for getting one. Um, the one that I started last night and ju just took off with is this one right here with the homespun. I just think that is so cool. Normally, I mean, I like um, all different greens. Normally, I don't like, in most yarns, I don't like an olive color green. 
but in this yarn, I'm actually liking how it all goes together. So, and the colorway on this is Meadow. I'm kind of surprised that that feels softer on my hands right now than some of these other yarns did. But again, I just got out of the shower not too long ago. Um, so I wouldn't have to get up and take one early in the morning. And it seems like when I do that, everything feels like 10 times better when I'm working with it. Even if it's something that normally doesn't feel soft to me. So, I don't even it's like, figure that one out in your head, um, because I can't. Actually, I probably could if I really wanted to. Um, not all soap puts moisture into your body. It will take it out. So that could be another reason. As I'm dropping. I thought of taking stuff to make the ornaments. But, um. So many squares I've got to get done. If I'm going to get that blanket done, it may not get done. And I just have to be fine with that. I mean, I didn't do what I needed to do to get everything done by this month. And that lays on me. Um, and all my new endeavors and all the things that I did. But I had fun doing everything that I did. So that's what counts. And um, my daughter will understand if she gets her gift later. And, um, I will have, at least I'll have a towel for her. I need to have something for her, for her fiance. And I have no idea, no idea at all. Do you guys have any good ideas for guys other than hats and cowls? Cause I've given him a hat and a cowl. He was like, oh, you can give me another one. I gave him a beautiful scarf last year. He's like, oh, you can make me another one. And I'm like, yeah, but my daughter says he doesn't really wear, like wearing them, but he wears mine. Um, and he said, as long as I make him something, he'll wear it. So, but I know they both, they both vape. And I wonder if I made him some kind of a bag. To put his, um, to put his vape in. What do you guys think? Do you think that would be a good idea? If I made him, um, like a bag, an accessory type bag, large enough to put his vape in. I may have to ask, um, Emily what she thinks I would like something that of course then I would have to ask for his favorite color and stuff again because I think I've got it somewhere so and I will have to let you guys know what I hear back from her um speaking of my daughter she sent she didn't send it to me um she bought us last year a ring for our door especially because she knows I'm home by myself a lot more than she would like me to be and um we wanted to make sure, you know, that we knew who was at the door and all of that before somebody comes. And when you have that, you can opt into um, getting um, getting stuff from people who live around you, you, the neighbors. And there was one that was sent out today, and it was really scary. She messaged me. She's like, Mom, did you see what came over, you know, the Ring app just a couple minutes ago? And I had been in the kitchen. I washed dishes earlier today. And the reason why, off to the reason why my back is killing me, I did dishes. Um, I found an area where the cat um, was going to the bathroom where she shouldn't have been. I had to move things around to get the back to clean it up. I cleaned out the litter pans um, that had not been done because I had been sick and nobody else had done them. So I did quite a bit tonight. Plus I made that dessert and my back is killing me. And 
I think I'm, I'm going to call it an early night. As soon as I get this done, uploaded, and um, get my stuff together for tomorrow, I might sit and crochet a little bit. I may just turn on a movie and sit here and just veg out and go to bed. Um, I think I'm going to sleep here, so it doesn't really matter if I, you know, fall asleep. Since we have our streaming services now, we, I can always watch it again later. Anyway, um, she's like, did you see this? And I was like, no. So I went and I watched it, and it was so scary. It was some guy trying to um, get into somebody's house. And the woman was in church when she heard her ring go off. And, um, and so I'm assuming it was a woman. It looks like a female's name. These days you can't always assume that. And um, she didn't post it like right after church. She waited. She didn't post it till like around 8 o'clock or something like that. And my daughter was just like, Mom, you know, this only happened like a mile to two miles from my house, which means it also only happened about a mile to two miles from her house. And, um, she's just like, I, you know, you need to see this and dad needs to see this. And the guy wasn't only trying to break into the house. He had a semi-automatic gun in his hand. And, um, like somebody said, it looks like it was a man on a mission. And I have no idea. I don't know if those people like brought something in the house and he saw something that he wanted. I don't know. But he went up and he just started kicking at the door and the door did not let him in. So thank goodness he couldn't get in, you know, but wow, it was scary. And to think that it Somebody else said, because um, I showed it to my friends, and one of them was like, well, looks like he's trying to go door to door. And I was like, well, I don't know, because from what people who could, like, make a bigger and stuff were saying when they were looking at it, is it looked like he went back across the street and into a house, like somebody was standing outside waiting for him. And... Um, like maybe he lived there or he was visiting somebody there or something. And um, I didn't read all the comments, so I don't know if they called the cops. I don't know if they told the cops to go across the street because if you can't, if you don't have the ability to make it like bigger to look at, um, it looks just like he's just going across the street and maybe like going to another house, like my friend said, going from house to house. Um, but there are a lot of people who are like, no, it looks like he's going into that house and somebody's standing there waiting, holding the door for him. So, scary. It's very scary. Um, another friend said she would pray for me and I appreciate that. I pray all the time that everything will be okay. But as I told her, we can't live our life in fear either um i can't sit and cover underneath my covers every day and worry that somebody's gonna try to get in you gotta just live your life every day one day at a time like i say one heartbeat at a time for me and just hope and pray that it doesn't happen and if it does you gotta try to be prepared for it the best that you can and right now i'm not quite sure what that means so, um, my husband and I have some things to talk about, I guess, when he gets home. Um, and other than that, I think I'm going to let you guys go. It's a half an hour. I didn't mean to go this long. I was hoping to get it all done in 15 minutes, but I knew I had to explain why I didn't start until today. So, um, I hope you guys are having a very merry Vlogmas. And I hope that you will come back and watch my vlogs. And um, I hope that I can figure out something fun and exciting to do for you. Uh, if not, I may only do a couple and then just not even waste your guys' time.
okay but i just enjoy sitting here and connecting with you guys again i have missed you so so much uh let me know what you'd like to see i don't really have any big plans except for crocheting um nobody's bought any stitch markers so i don't have to do much well i do have some orders um that my friends had put in that I need to get done and sent out. So yes, I forgot about that. I have one that I need to get out actually in the next couple days. So um, if you're watching, Kathy, I have not forgotten. I will get them done and out to you. And um, yeah, I, I have that. So if you guys want me to try and tape while I'm doing stitch markers, if you want to see, you know, what I do, let me know. Um, I personally don't think it would be that fun to watch, but um, just let me know what you guys would like to see, and I will show you um, within reason, whatever I can, if I can. So on that note, I'm getting very, very tired. I can hardly keep my eyes open, and I'm not understanding. Maybe I haven't, because I haven't had any protein yet today. So, um, I do need to go and drink a thing of protein and, um, get ready for bed and to get my bag together for tomorrow because we have to leave here, I think around four o'clock in the morning. So with that, I am out of here. Have a great, wonderful day. Remember you matter no matter what. Don't let anybody else make you feel that you don't. And um, I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. And you are gorgeous and beautiful and handsome. If you need me, just message me, send me um, an email, whatever, and I will be here. Uh, oh, i got to fill out Christmas cards. I am behind on that. So lots to do this week. I will talk to you guys later. Love ya.